A chord, as conventionally perceived, materializes when a set of pitches are combined and sounded simultaneously to create a cohesive musical unit. Within the realm of Python programming, Music 21 offers a dedicated class to facilitate the representation and manipulation of chords in our code. Let's import Music 21 and initialize a variable called MyChord to which we'll assign a chord object with MyChord equals chord dot chord. Now we need to inform this object about the pitches we desire to include within it. We can provide it with a list containing strings representing pitch names, and if desired we can define a specific octave for each pitch. Alternatively, we have the option to provide a list of integers ranging from 0 to 11, representing pitch classes within the chromatic scale. Following the convention where 0 represents C natural, each subsequent integer represents an increment of a semitone. Should the list contain integers greater than 11, they will be interpreted as MIDI numbers. We can also construct a chord by combining a list of pitch or note objects that have already been created. A chord object also enables us to modify its contents after creation. We can append additional notes to a chord by invoking its add method and specifying the new pitch or list of pitches we wish to include. Furthermore, we can use this method to merge two chords into one. To illustrate, let's create a fresh chord named My other chord. We can now combine them by invoking the add method of our original chord and providing the pitches attribute of the newly created chord. Conversely, the remove method grants us the ability to selectively eliminate specific pitches from our chord. Similar to a note, a chord object possesses a duration that by default is set to a quarter note. We have the ability to create a chord with a different duration by utilizing the duration keyword argument. We can alternatively access the duration attribute to modify the duration of a chord. To illustrate, let's set the duration of our chord to a half note by assigning a new duration duration object to its duration attribute with my chord dot duration equals duration dot duration two. Calling my chord dot show enables us to see a notated representation of our chord when we run the program. The chord object supplies a range of attributes and methods that can be called upon to yield valuable harmonic insights. For instance, we can employ isTriad to discern whether a chord represents a triad, or the isSeventh method to ascertain if it is a seventh chord. By invoking root, we discover the identity of the chord's root note. Additionally, the common name attribute returns the most commonly associated name of a triad, providing us, where applicable, with descriptive labels such as major triad, minor triad, dominant seventh, and all interval tetrachord. In the context of post-tonal analysis, several attributes and methods such as forte class, interval vector, normal order, and get z relation prove particularly useful for conducting pitch class set analysis. Now let us explore Chordify, another unique feature of Music 21 that can be employed to distill a complex score comprising multiple parts into a sequence of chords within a single part. To demonstrate this, we shall pass a Music XML file containing the first movement of Beethoven's seventh string quartet, which is conveniently included within Music 21's bundled corpus. We will assign a passed score to a variable named Beethoven Quartet. With quartet chords equals Beethoven Quartet dot chordify, we can obtain a new stream wherein all the notes and rests at each offset are gathered into chord objects. We can visualize the resulting chordification with quartet chords dot show. Upon close inspection, we discover that chordify has diligently crafted a new chord for each vertical sonority. It is important to recognize that some of the chords created may encompass functional harmony, whereas others might harbor non-harmonic tones such as passing notes, appoggiaturas, changing notes, suspensions, and various other embellishments. As such, it is incumbent upon the analyst to embark on further investigations to determine the true harmonic content of the work. Chordify serves as a powerful launch pad for the pursuit of deeper harmonic analyses. If you found this insightful and enjoyable, please show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for future topics about Music 21 or creative coding. Thank you for watching.